Hello, I am Dr. Rajaram Reddy. You have been diagnosed with a retinal condition. The video you are about to watch explains about your condition and the risks and benefits of your recommended treatment. Choosing to undergo any form of treatment or surgery can be a difficult decision to make. While some people may experience side effects from the medications or surgery, the risks of side effects should always be balanced with greater risk of leaving your condition untreated, which may include loss of vision. Here at Neoretina Eye Care, we are committed to helping you keep your eyesight. All of us, including myself, Dr. Srinivas, Dr. Alka and Dr. Purushottam, look forward to helping you. Thank you. For your eye doctor to thoroughly examine your eyes, he or she will need to dilate or widen your pupils using special eye drops. Without dilation, trying to examine the inside of your eye is like looking into a room through a keyhole in the door. When the eye is dilated, it's like having the door open to see into the room. The pupil is the black opening at the center of the iris, the colored part of your eye that lets light in. The iris is made of muscles that relax or contract to make the pupil wider or narrower depending on how much light is around you. Dilating your pupils allows your eye doctor to use special instruments to look inside the eye and get a better view of the structures that allow you to see. He or she can check the health of your lens, which is important for focusing light on your retina, the light-sensitive tissue lining the back of the eye. Most of the retina itself can be seen, allowing your doctor to check for evidence of disease that can affect both your detail vision and your peripheral or side vision. Your optic nerve can also be seen. This nerve sends signals from the retina to your brain where they become the images you see. It's important to check the optic nerve for any changes caused by glaucoma, a disease related to abnormal pressure in the eye. To dilate your pupils, eye drops, called midriatics, are put into your eyes. These drops work in one of three ways. They temporarily paralyze the muscle that makes the pupil smaller, they stimulate the muscle that makes the iris, the colored part of the eye, widen, or they keep the pupil from adjusting naturally to allow focusing, called accommodation. Dilating eye drops may be used for reasons other than eye exams. For instance, your ophthalmologist will need to dilate your eyes to perform some types of eye surgery. In some cases, drops will be used after surgery as well to keep your pupil wide so scar tissue won't form. Sometimes your eyes may be dilated to relax your lens's muscles so your eye doctor can measure properly for your glasses prescription. And eye doctors may use dilating eye drops in children who have amblyopia or lazy eye. The drops are used to blur vision temporarily in the child's stronger eye, forcing the brain to use the weaker eye. Once eye drops are put into your eyes, it can take anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes for your eyes to become fully dilated. People with light-colored eyes, including blue, green, and hazel, usually dilate faster than people with brown eyes. Dark-colored eyes, however, usually won't stay dilated for very long, whereas light-colored eyes may stay dilated for up to eight hours. Eye doctors often use stronger dilating drops in children to be able to examine them more accurately. For that reason, some children may still have dilated pupils the morning after their exam. When your pupils are dilated, you will be sensitive to light. Your vision will be blurry and you will have difficulty focusing on close objects. Your eye doctor cannot predict how long your vision will be affected, though the effects can last for up to several hours. When you're going to have your eyes dilated for an exam or procedure, you should bring sunglasses with you to help reduce the glare and light sensitivity after your appointment. It is important to understand that you may not be able to drive safely after a dilated eye exam. You should be prepared to wait after your appointment is over and see how your vision recovers. If you feel as if your vision is still too blurry to drive safely, then you should make arrangements to have someone drive you. As with any medication, there are possible risks and side effects associated with dilating eye drops. It is possible you could have an allergic reaction, dizziness, increased blood pressure, and increased sweating. You could also experience changes in your heart rate. In unusual cases, dilating eye drops may cause acute angle closure glaucoma, where eye pressure rises suddenly. This complication is extremely rare and can be treated immediately if it occurs. If you have any questions before or after a dilated eye exam or procedure, be sure to speak with your eye doctor.